the dot product. Uh, we know that uh, uh, the work done by a force F from A to B is the length of F times the length of AB times cosine theta. Actually, the length of f times cosine theta is the component of f on on the AB. Act or or the uh, scalar projection of f onto AB. And times uh, if the projection that is f times times cosine theta. Uh, is the projection of F onto AB and times the length of AB that is that is a work done by the F along AB. This leads to the de definition of dot product. The dot product um, also called the scalar product. or inner product. Because uh, its result is a uh, scalar. First, we have the definition of a dot product. Dot product of two vectors, A dot B. The definition is the length of A times the length of B times cosine theta. Cosine theta is the angle between these, these two vectors. That's the definition uh, actually from the geo geometric view. By the, project, uh, by the definition of the dot product, we have the uh, theorem. That is, A perpendicular to B if and only if A dot B equals 0. It's easy to prove because if A dot B equal 0, then uh, is either A or B to be 0, the length of A or B to be 0, or cos theta to, uh, to be 0. If A uh, or if the length of A or B equal 0, then A or B uh, should be the 0 vector, and the 0 vector has any directions. So it's perpendicular to any vector. And if cosine theta equals 0, then theta should be uh, pi, over two, pi over 2. Uh, and uh, and if, if theta equals pi over 2, we can, uh, we can uh, and get the inner product should be should be zero. So that's the if and only if uh, that's necessary and uh, sufficient uh, condition. And uh, there's some laws of dot product. The first one is a dot b. equals b dot a. The second is so a dot a equals the length the square of the length. And b, because the cosine theta, cosine theta equals 1. The third one so if as lambda a dot b 
uh, calls lambda a dot b because lambda uh, only change only change the length of a and if lambda greater than zero then the cos and theta does not change if if lambda is less than zero then cos and theta should be changed the sign so uh, so we got this equation and the last one a dot b plus c equals a dot b plus a dot c this can be proved by the by the uh, addition as b as c this is c is b plus c the production of b onto a is here and we move the c the, the c here we got this production actually actually is this part this part is production b onto a and this and this part is production c onto a add them together that we got the b plus c production under here so uh, the distribution north the distribution now is satisfied. We can prove this just just to use the uh, definition of vector add additions. And uh, uh, on coordinates, and the dot product uh, is uh, easier to computation. If a equals a1, it's not not uh, it's ju just uh, the coordinate and not vectors. Um, b equals b1, b2, b3. Then a dot b equals a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 and the coordinate uh, on coordinates the inner product or dot product is is very easy to compute uh, we can prove we can prove uh, the the formula of dot product uh, on coordinates <clears throat> because a dot b we can write as a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k then dot uh, b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k uh, by the distribution law we got a1 i dot that's b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k and plus a2 j as b1 dot b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k and then plus a3 k b1 i 
plus B2J plus B3K. And use the distribution law. We got A1, B1, I dot I plus A1, B2, I dot J plus A1, B3, I dot J because I, J, K are perpendicular to each other. So I dot J equals zero. They are perpendicular, so their, uh, their dot product is zero. That means this equals zero and this equals zero. So uh, and I dot I, I dot I equals one. Because i is unit vector, uh, i dot i is the length, the square of its length, the square of its length. So the length is one, the square of its length, clear one. And similarly, we got the second part should be a two, b two, because j dot i equals zero, j dot k equals zero. And the third part is a3 times b3 so that's actually a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 that's the formula for dot products dot product on coordinate and uh, we have the definition of dot product. So the last one is the angles between two vectors. If we don't know the angles, but we know the coordinates of these two, uh, these two vectors, we can uh, compute the angles between these two vectors because a dot b equals the length of a times the length of b times cosine theta. So we got cosine theta is a dot b over the length of A, the length of B. <coughs> now, <coughs> if the coordinates of A and B are known, then we can compute the dot product and their length. Mm, and the last one is the projection. projection uh, projection of B on A as projection B on A that is <coughs> B the length of B the length of A times cosine theta times the uh, the vector a and the the b times cosine theta the, from here b the length of b times cosine theta is the uh, dot uh, dot product of a a b over a so that is a that is a dot b over a square the length of a square that's a after after we got the angles between these two vectors okay uh, let's see some examples Uh, 
show that a equals two two negative one and uh, b equals five negative four two uh, perpendicular to each other. Because a dot b equals two times five plus two times negative four plus negative one times two, that is ten minus eight minus two equals zero. So that a is perpendicular to b. The dot product equals zero. Dot dot product equals zero. Uh, so these two vectors are perpendicular. The second example is find the angles. Find the angle between A equal between A and B. two problems. The first one is A equals 3, negative 1, 5. So B equals negative 2, 4, 3. The second one is A equals I plus 2J minus 2k and b equals 4i minus 3k. The first one the first one that is we first compute the length of a, of a and b. The length of a is square root 3 square plus minus 1 square plus 5 square. That is line 10, that's 25. Uh, so that is square root, square root of 3. Uh, 35 and B the length of B equals square root negative negative 2 of square plus 4 square plus 3 square that's 4 that's 16 that's line that's that is square root 20 line and A dot B equals 3 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 4 plus 5 times 3 that is negative 6 negative 4 plus uh, 15 that is 5 so cosine theta equals 5 over square root 35 times square root 20 line. Um, I don't know the, the exact angle we can write as cosine, the inverse cosine 5 over square root 35 square root 20 line. We can use a calculator to compute the angle. The second one we compute the length of A that is 1 plus 2 square plus negative 2 square and square root 
that is that is one plus four plus four that is line so that is that's three the length of b that is four square plus negative three square that is square root 25 that is 5 and a dot b that is 1 times 4 uh, minus or plus negative 2 times negative 3 that is that's 4 that's uh, 6 that's 10 So, cosine theta equals a dot b over the length of a, the length of b, that is uh, 10 over 15, so that is 2 over 3, so the theta is inverse cosine. 2 over 3 and the last example is a projection uh, find projection of B over uh, on A that a is 4 negative 3 4 b is 2 2 1 by the formula of projection b over uh, b on a that is a dot b over the length of a square times the vector a first the dot product that's 4 times 2 plus negative negative 3 times 2 plus 4 times 1 that's h that's that is negative 6 mm, that's h that mm, so H negative six four so that is six. The length of A that is square root four square plus negative three square plus four square uh, sixteen sixteen uh, that's 20, 12, uh, 30, 32 uh, and this line so that is square root of forty one. And B, the length of B is square root 2 square plus 2 square plus 1. That is square root 9. That is 3. So, cos, uh, so the projection B on A, that is 6 over and a square a square that is 41 oh we don't need the b that is a dot b over a square times times a so that is 6 over 41 times a that's uh, 4 negative 3 4 that's actually oh, that's actually 24 over 41 uh, negative 18 over 41 and uh, 24 over 41 that's the projection of B on A uh, we know that uh, the computation is easier uh, in coordinates if the if the vectors are in coordinate in coordinate form 
all the computations are easier.